Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Where today, I'm gonna do a couple challenges. I just turned on my washing machine, so I will just do challenges in order until it is done. The challenges have their own, well, challenges really, for this particular one. I think you just, every floor is a curse of darkness or something like that. And we just have to make our through our way through to kill mom's foot, as you can see on the left side of the screen. While we're doing this, the only achievement we can get is the one for completing this challenge. So if we were to get a guppy transformation or something like that at this point, it would not actually help us at all. So really, we're mostly just going to try, and I might actually take this, we're mostly just going to try to make it to the end. Each challenge has their own unlocks attached to it, and there are certain challenges with better unlocks than others for sure. But I'm just going to do it in whatever order I feel like doing it, really, to uh, make it easier on myself and to have it more in compliance with how long my washing machine takes to wash towels this time around. This is Libra. It is going to make me very balanced. Usually not the best thing in the world, though it does combine very well with certain other items as well. So hopefully we can make something good out of it. Might as well give it a shot. Plus it gives us six keys, bombs, and coins so we can hopefully get a couple things out of it. Like the stapler, which doesn't give us plus one damage, but it gives us a bunch of stuff to all of our stats. This still gives us four soul hearts. And I'm not actually sure if the health not being visible is also part of the challenge or not, but I suppose we'll see. Also, in most instances, the challenges will not have an item room. It will generally just have a shop and it'll give you just a certain subset of items to play with. But this one challenge is one of the few exceptions to that. I cannot pick this trinket up because I took the tick, unfortunately. However, the tick will deal some damage to pin as the fight starts, which is uh, a little bit helpful, I suppose. But overall, the pin fight has never been too exciting. Plus, the nice thing about this challenge is that it ends at mom's foot, so hopefully we can get a couple challenges done this video. And also, if I die, I don't think it actually affects my win streak, so I could just remove it from ever happening. It, it, you'll just never see it if I somehow manage to do that. Although this challenge is not exactly the most difficult one. I will just quickly see if there is a secret room over here. I have the bombs for it anyway. And there is with a whole bunch of coins inside of it. And there isn't actually a shop on this floor, which is interesting. I thought there would be, but I guess not. But even though we just picked up a tears up item, we do get some damage as well as that is the nice thing about Libra. It really does balance out everything. Now there is particularly items such as soy milk and stuff like that which are now especially powerful because usually it would give you a really high tier rate and really low damage but with this it would give you just very reasonable damage and still a really high tier rate as well because it, it's just that ridiculous usually so that's pretty good. Unfortunately if there are no shops on this challenge then having this many coins isn't really going to help us out that much unless I want to feel unless I feel like playing with donation machines or something like that, but not even donation machines, then the gambling machines, there we go, and stuff like that, maybe some of the beggars, but I probably won't bother, my god. <laughs> oh, that's not as good as I remember it being, unfortunately, Ah, oh, there was a time where that, where those two items were a build, but it looks like now it's just kind of adequate, I mean, soy milk, I feel, has become better in this expansion than uh, it used to be but specifically this combination of items appears to be significantly worse which that's really unfortunate but i suppose it is a good thing to know because it will make me less tempted to take libra ever really now the lord of the flies is very weak to bombs so let's just throw a bomb in there and end this fight and it does seem like not being able to see my health is part of the challenge but Honestly, I might actually be at full health at this point with the amount of hearts that we've picked up so far. So I'm not really too concerned. Uh, I am a little bit sad about Soy Milk Libra no longer being good though, but I mean, that's just the way it is. As you can see though, this challenge is going pretty rapidly, so... That's why I'm feeling reasonably confident that we can probably do a couple of them in one video. 
because a lot of the first ones all go to mom's foot or mom's heart or something like that so it's not too far we definitely haven't unlocked all the challenges yet and most of them are just unlocked through certain actions like well for one getting the guppy transformation of course and then uh, fighting mom's heart 10 times or nine times or something like that like, there's a couple of ones in there which uh we'll get as we progress through the game let's just throw a bomb in there i should do that more often i feel but i usually don't feel like i have the bombs for it Plus, usually I feel like my run will take a little bit longer, so I might want to keep them for the later floors, I suppose. But at least we got that troll bomb to run into that shopkeeper there. So that is lovely. I also do hope that the fact that I have mods turned on is not going to affect the challenges, but I assume it won't. I guess we'll find out quickly enough, and otherwise, again, you'll just not see this video. <laughs> but... We'll see at the end, I suppose. It shouldn't take too long to get through this. I would like to find my item room on all of the floors because really any way to get my damages a little bit higher would be nice. Probably should be a little further away from this enemy, but it ultimately worked out. There's a key on that room, so I might want to grab that as well, but I have nine keys as well, so it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. It is unlikely we're going to run out of keys. That's five more bombs, and our bombs have become better as well, which is pretty good. It's actually pretty nice to have. So, let's see. That is a Devil Deal item, at least, so that is wonderful. Ooh, that does a lot of damage, huh? Man, I really should be doing this a lot more, I suppose. I never really consider it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Just take that, because I did take some damage. We could get a speed up. Um, plus we would have two parts of Leviathan if I take this, so sure, why not? Um, yeah, why not take this too? I think I have a whole bunch of soul hearts right now. At least I hope so, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Also, that speed up, I guess, isn't everything up because of Libra, but... Eh, it'll probably work out. Let's just go in here. The Spectral Tears means I can shoot through flames, which is quite nice against those enemies in particular. Ace of Spades, can't pick that up because of my trinket. And probably could have given him some keys, but ultimately it did mean I found my crawl space because of it. Giving us the bursting sack. Which at least is going to make spiders less scary, so that's good. Now, hopefully, the general rule of bosses being far away from the starting room rule still applies. I would assume so. It would be odd if that changed, but some challenges do get pretty wacky from time to time and what changes I suppose but the first 20 or so challenges I think primarily are just strange builds to play with as they are the original rebirth challenges rather than the ones added later in the other expansions also this uh, black hole tier effect that I'm getting from time to time is pretty great I did say previously I would press all the buttons and I mustn't I must not disagree with that. One day it will be useful. Occasionally you do get an item out of it, but it is <laughs> exceptionally rare. But having more instances where we get to see the black hole effect from that eye that we took in our devil deal is pretty fun. I'm getting this room a lot as well, which is working out because we have the speed to just run past everything and that's just really nice. But yeah, so far I'd say our build is adequate enough. It should be able to get us to the end provided that I don't take too much damage. I'm not exactly sure what my health is at but I'm not overly concerned about it either because we did pick up a lot of soul hearts throughout the way. I think we spent two of them on devil deals so far so more likely than not we're at like nine hearts or something like that which I, I think that's not a bad estimate. Unfortunately our moon card put us in the wrongest of directions so or maybe I just missed a door because now I'm starting to question. Oh, I could have gone up. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, our moon card put the uh, exit to the secret room in the wrong direction. <laughs> really, that's the main thing that happened there. But that happened so far. I'm still feeling confident that we can somehow make it to the end of this floor if we just try. I am a little scared to put bombs down when the black holes happen because I think they do get sucked towards the black holes, but... Oh well. I'll just take my time and move on. I think in terms of items that you can get in the challenges, it is based on what you actually have unlocked as well, so... 
It might be, if you're like actually struggling with a challenge, it might be worthwhile to try to unlock some more things if it does end up making the challenge easier because of it. Although I'm not really sure thinking about it, what challenges that would apply to and what items would really help out a lot of challenges, but there's probably some out there, isn't there? I would have to assume it at least helps out a little bit. And if not, no, oh. <laughs> it is fun to unlock things. At least our tick is dealing a decent amount of damage. This boss should take reasonable damage from in bomb getting eaten by him as well. And the black hole is making it impossible for him to move, so wonderful. And that's Leviathan. And we're probably at full health now. I picked up a couple soul hearts and got two black hearts from the Leviathan transformation as well, so... I wouldn't be surprised if we're at full health currently. I thought we were at 9, but I could still pick up a soul heart after I got the Leviathan transformation, so maybe I was at 8 hearts instead. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? We're in depths 1. We're doing pretty okay. We got a gold chest with a bunch of coins. Which is fairly irrelevant, but still. If we ever find money equals power, which... Thinking about it, do you have to unlock money equals power? You might actually. Not sure now, but... If we ever do find it, it's gonna make this build specifically pretty okay in terms of making all of our stats go up slightly. And that, for one, excites me extremely. I could just speed this up a little bit because I'm not really looking for anything anymore. I'm kind of sad this was a dead end because I don't want to go all the way back. I, we, we've been traveling for so far and now you're telling me I have to go in the exact opposite direction from where we started. That's... I mean, look at that. Look at the size of that floor right there. But that's just the way it is. I could blow up a couple of these flames at least to get a secret room and not a blue heart. Speed my way through. It's very important that we can complete at least two challenges before I have to take the towels out of my washing machine. That's really the main focus for this run right here. We got a bomb, so I might as well use it on this door. And one enemy. We can, I guess, deal with that just barely. I don't I got a good feeling we're going in the good direction now. For some reason, these rooms in particular always seem to lead to, to good times or shops. And since there's no shops, I mean, it has to be good times. That's just, that's the rules of, of good times in terms of Isaac mapping. I'm pretty sure that is accurate and based on statistics, yes. That's another bomb type thing. If we get the light bulb trinket, it's gonna be pretty good. Didn't know this boss actually showed up here, but fair enough, I guess it does. That's unfortunate because I'm not always 100% sure where I have to stand during which phase because this boss effectively has three phases and one of them has brimstone shooting in front of him. <laughs> and I'm always a little bit concerned about that brimstone attack because it, uh, it does hurt a bit. And it can be difficult to avoid if you're not ready for it. But just throwing a bomb in his face does do a lot of damage. Plus these spiders he throws down are currently bewildered by my bursting sack. So that is lovely. Don't really need that. I doubt we're going to get a conjoined transformation during this run, so let us just go to the depths too and try to find our way to the boss right now. Whoops. Well, that clears a room. <laughs> uh, who needs bombs when you have black hearts instead? Also very capable of clearing out a pretty decent amount of large rooms due to the fact that most enemies simply die to a singular black heart until you reach the womb, pretty much. I'm getting pretty lucky with our item rooms as well, just being somewhere on the path to where we're going, so that's nice. I should probably use my item a bit more as well, because that is a free bomb every two rooms. Poison fart might actually prefer that over the bomb, because it's a little bit easier to use. Let's just do that. That'll probably end up killing him. Will I kill him? No, it won't. It will be close, though. Yeah, one one little tear away from killing one of those bombies. Interesting. Didn't actually know that, but now, thanks to all this beautiful information, we have learned a little bit about very specific damaging situations. And once again, that excites me. Could take those pills, but I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm going in the right direction and I'll probably be okay. So I'm not even going to worry, just get a random black heart out of nowhere. 
And there is mom's foot, which should be the last room of this challenge. Let's just shoot up until all the enemies are dead. Fight mom's heart and call it a day. Please explode quicker. Uh, at least I can poison her with my bean, so that's good. Let's just throw that down and hope. Nope. Hey, we did it. And there was a tinted rock there as well. Ah, unfortunate. At least the black hearts are dealing an extra little bit of damage there, so it does speed up the process again a little bit, which is good. However, I will say that the build we have gotten for this would have been so much better in the previous expansion than it is right now. It 100% would have killed the bot. I'm a little curious about this, actually. Does this work? Can I just stand here safely? I mean, this works for the foot. But I kind of want hands to attack me. I'm not really getting hands to attack me. But we did it. We beat challenge number one. We got the rune of Hagalaz, which is arguably one of the worst runes in the game. But it is. It exists. It's probably second worst thinking about it. So let's just immediately go on to the next challenge. This time around, we immediately get the poop transformation. We have the flush item, which can turn an entire room of enemies into poop. And also has some fun effects on a very specific subset of bosses. And there are no item rooms in this challenge, I do believe. But it is one of those transformations that you don't see very frequently because it requires three poop-related items, I guess. And truth be told, I'm not exactly sure what the thing even does, but there probably are some good effects based on it. Also, I need to get that peeler at some point to actually make a full Meat Boy, I suppose, because there is a achievement for that. Similarly, there is one for the bandage girl achievement, and that one's probably going to be a little trickier. Also, it stays watery in these rooms. That's actually kind of neat. I don't, that might have changed for repentance, because I could have sworn that effect goes away after you leave the room, but yeah, it's still there. That's cool. It at least shows you how much you've used your item throughout the floor. Gives you a better idea. And that's fine, actually. Might be better than the poop trinket. Although the poop trinket at this point in the run is pretty great, but reducing devil deal prices to one red heart, which is, I assume, still how it works, because it that's how it used to work, at least. That's pretty great. And we are going to get a devil deal on the second floor, given our current heart situation, I think. I am deliberately not yet using flush in case there is a poop boss on this floor because it will instantly end the fight if I use it on them. So definitely worthwhile to keep just for that. Let's just get this soul heart that I couldn't afford. And let us fight whichever boss is waiting for us. I could go for the curse room, I guess, as well, but I'm kind of happy about having a lot of hearts, so I don't think I'm going to risk it. I do think there is a secret room here and possibly a super secret room over here as well. Uh, that one's unfortunately not. This is a big battery. I will grab that after fighting the boss, I think. And there's two gurglings, which I don't know if this works. It does not. It just makes the room wet, which fair enough, I suppose. But not exactly the effect I was going for. I'd rather have them be insta-dead. But I can grab that battery in a second to overcharge my item. It means I can use it twice at least, which usually you could only do by getting a specific battery item. But now there's also batteries that give you the same effect, but only temporarily, I suppose. Once I use it once, I will not be able to overcharge it again until I find another one of these batteries or uh, get the battery item itself, I suppose. But it does give us a little bit more freedom. I do think this challenge also goes to mom's foot. So that's kind of nice, I suppose. I don't think Envy is particularly affected by Flush, so I will just leave that alone for now. Plus, if there are any big rooms, I'd probably much rather use them there than use them against a singular room like this. Simply because it does speed up the process a little bit of clearing out these floors. But I am curious what my Devil Deal is going to hold. That's really the main thing, especially with Judas's tongue. I do hope I'm going to get a lot of items for my Devil Deal, and it's never really guaranteed, I suppose. But it would be nice. Arguably, I could also just run into enemies, and that will turn them into poop because of the 
Security Touch, I believe it's called. Um, but that costs health and I'd rather not. However, if I get something like some kind of invincibility item somehow, I'm not really sure how I'm intending to do that, but if at some point I get some way to be invulnerable for a second, I could kill a lot of enemies that way and that would be ideal. Ah, there is a tinted rock there. I thought there wasn't. For another soul heart, which is wonderful. I only have one coin, so it's not really worthwhile to go into my shop right now. But, so far so good, I would say. I am thus far feeling confident that this run is going to be okay. There is the Hagalaz rune, which I just unlocked. Might as well use it in this room with the tinted rock right here. And should I use flush on this one champion? Probably not. The flies that that champion dropped are good enough to deal with the nasties of this room, so that is lovely. But when using Hagalaz, all the rocks disappear. And if there is a crawl space, it'll show up immediately. If there is tinted rocks, they will show their rewards and so forth. If there are super secret cool rocks, then they will also explode immediately, I'm pretty sure. Larry Jr. also does not care about flush. However, they are quite weak against bombs. As you can see right there, and fortunately both of them decided to work with me. And a screw just randomly from a golden chest. This is not exactly what I meant with hopefully, hopefully I'm going to get a lot of items, but I suppose this works. There we go. We actually used the bag. <laughs> One of those items which certainly exists, rarely is worthwhile, and does a little bit of damage after you create a circle on the floor. And otherwise, I don't think it actually does anything. I don't know if they've changed it at all, but it's not the best. <laughs> it's not. I mean, I guess against spiders, I guess there are actually kind of a lot of enemies now that die quite quickly. So it's not the worst either if you can just create a circle to protect yourself. Because there are certain enemies that drop a whole bunch of tiny spiders and I don't think I've rarely gotten hit by it by one of those tiny spiders, but still it can make you feel a little bit more secure than it ordinarily would, I suppose. So it's not too bad. Don't love how this is going so far, but as long as you kill the last part of it over one of the pits, it won't spawn spiders. And if a spider runs into me, it turns into poop, so not the scariest situation in the world. Plus I'm getting just ridiculous amounts of coins and health and such, but so uh, overall I'm not really that concerned about anything that's going on here. Even though we're not getting item rooms, we do start off with a decent enough build. Having just high tier rate is honestly good enough to take you pretty far with Isaac's base damage, and I think we're slightly above base because of that Jesus juice, but only barely. I don't think my secret room is going to be there. I don't think it can be because it is technically blocked off by a button. I'm not sure if that's how it works, <laughs> but wouldn't surprise me. This seems like a good place for a super secret room at least. Let's just take all of these. Watch there be a PhD in the shop and then feel sad about having taken all these pills. The fact that there was a speed down in there does make me quite sad because speed down is rather strong. It was Bogo Bomb, so it doesn't matter too much. But at least we got our soul heart back and we're doing pretty good in terms of health, so that's good. Uh, let's just create a small circle there. And it does all right damage, but you do really need to have them stand in there for a minute. You can make bigger circles as well, which yeah, actually, yeah, it does decent damage to this boss at least. Uh, compared to my tear damage at least. <laughs> Maybe I should use it more often. Maybe they did make it a little bit more stronger than I remember it being. That is flight and a dark bomb. That is both very good. Let's first take this. And also with the tongue, it only costs one heart each rather than the two hearts that the flight normally costs. So that is wonderful. And uh, it gave us our speed back as well, which is more or less exactly what I wanted. So let us take that onwards to the next floor. It is unlikely we're going to find another poop boss, I think, so our flush item is becoming less good as we progress through the game. But overall, I'm not too disappointed with what we've gotten. That is that chariot, that invincibility I was talking about previously. Only lasts for one 
room, I suppose, or one charge, I guess, but it is still decent invincibility that pro could probably clear out an entire room simply by running into everything. So if at some point it gets a little scary, then we have a panic button, so to speak. And that's a health up. Yeah, the game is being pretty nice, and I think at least some of the challenges are technically in normal mode. I don't know if this one is in... How you can really tell the difference either. Maybe they're all in normal mode, I'm honestly not too sure. That's not great. Uh, I will just keep using this thing, I guess, to see if it does anything. But I could also just chariot against this boss. Simultaneously, though, I do have bombs. And the bombs also deal damage to the entire room whenever I use them. Which clear out all the little worm boys. So, actually... Don't really feel scared enough to use my panic button right now. That's so many red hearts. Sure, let's take that. Uh, lover's card, might as well use that. Have some extra hearts, buddy. For what makes you larger. We could maybe get stompy again, which is fun. Eh, let's just take this, I suppose, and move on. So far, I, I feel fairly confident that this run will make it somewhere. That's a black heart. Let's go through the long, thin room, hoping that it will take us to where we need to be. There could theoretically maybe be a couple of rooms with the poop boss that are just sort of put in the middle, but I think those only show up in the womb and places like that. I don't think they show up in the depths. So it does feel unlikely that we're going to see something like that. But it would be fun if it happened. Also, I guess I could try a little bit harder to get my Dark Bum to actually pick stuff up, but... Yeah, I feel like it. I'm feeling confident enough in my own abilities to... ...not require any more health than we currently have. Although, if I keep running into spiders, then maybe I'll consider it a bit more. Might as well take Piggy Bank, why not? We get, like, three coins back for picking it up. Plus, every time we take damage, we're gonna drop some coins, and who knows? Maybe we'll find Bumbino. And we can actually try that out with the chariot. I don't know if we can drop coins with the chariot. So I don't think we're technically taking damage and then probably doesn't count. I think it does count if you have like a nod leaf or something like that, but I don't think it counts if you're specifically using chariot, but I'm not too sure how that works. Anyway, I'm just gonna do this because I don't feel like fighting this boss if I'm being real. Mostly because of this phase, which I probably should have just used it there thinking about it. But a bomb, also very effective. I suppose I'll let you pick up a couple of hearts in case it gives me a black heart in return, and it did. And that brings us to the final floor of challenge number two. And I immediately went in the wrong direction. However, there is a big room coming up and we can probably just flush that one out immediately. There we go. Save a little bit of time there. And immediately get two charges back as well. If you happen to run into a floor that's entirely small rooms, or large rooms rather, and you have this item and a 9 volt battery and that one trinket that also gives you one extra charge, you could probably just use Flush Forever. However, I suppose that combination of events is fairly unlikely to ever realistically happen, but it would be a fun little thing to see from time to time, I would say. Keeping that in mind. I have uh, found every wrong direction we can take. And let us now simply run and bomb our way to the end of this run. I suppose even if I just miss, it's still gonna kill most things. This room happens to have two enemies, or two doors rather, and in case I went into the wrong direction, I kinda wanted to clear that room. And uh, yeah, guess what? <laughs> it worked out in the end. There is a shop there. I could quickly check that for another soul heart, I suppose, but uh, I'm just gonna run. This time we're not fighting the red foot, so we're gonna actually fight enemies from time to time. Unfortunately, the hand disappeared perfectly there. Yeah, I'm not great at timing that. Also, I'm a little curious, again, how well this is going to work against Mom. I just create a lot of circles here in the middle. Perhaps... I can just create a whole bunch of extra damage to her foot this way. Not sure if those like multiply in any way, like if you have multiple circles, if it's actually going to deal more damage. Yeah, it's decent. I mean, I definitely took way more damage than 
really helped out, but <laughs> it's a fun little experiment to at least try, you know? Come on, bombs. There we go. We actually got a bomb to hit for once. Very good. Let's actually just finish this fight now. There we go. Another challenge completed. I've played for 31 minutes. We have the rune of Yara, which is probably one of the better runes in the game. Let's go to head trauma. It's just nice how quick these original challenges go. Oh, this is head trauma. <laughs> okay, this one I'm feeling less confident about. This is one of those challenges that has a tendency to go wrong because it's ridiculous with what it is. The concussion tears are pretty good. However, it is, as you can see, a little bit fiddly to actually hit things. And it's also very easy to accidentally just knock enemies into you. There is a tinted rock all the way over there and I might have the bombs to actually reach it as well. But I'm not 100% sure if it is going to be worthwhile. But I, at the same time, I kind of want to get as many soul hearts as possible to possibly get a devil deal. You can get a couple of items in this game, which sort of nullify the challenge as well, which probably isn't as fun, but it is a very effective way of going through life. We have a speed down as well compared to usual because we have the small rock. And provided we just use our low range attack and just try to attack backwards the entire time, it is still very possible to just kind of attack enemies that way, but uh, to, to call this fiddly would not be an overstatement, I suppose, or understatement. Increases fart size. I mean, it's better than not having anything, I suppose. But so far, my only plan for this floor is to get that tinted rock, maybe enter my curse room, maybe see if there's anything in my shop, and possibly check out my secret room if I can find it with the remaining bombs that I have. If there is possibly a... I watch him call it a hangman card that would help out a bit. Also, this isn't great because I don't think I can do the same. I don't think I can concuss the tiny ghost, which is unfortunate. But if I just keep attacking, hopefully the creep will work with me a little bit here. Oh boy. Yeah, that's getting real close. I don't think I can really do anything about that either because of my low speed. <laughs> this is a pretty rough boss to get on the first floor here. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got a damage up, which is not terrible. We got one part of Leviathan, which is also not terrible. There is a soul heart in my boss room. There is gold chest here. I think that rock is, or yeah, this bomb rock is going to blow up two rocks in that direction and then I won't, I'll only need one more bomb after that. Yes, that is correct. I can open this. That's another soul heart. And I have one bomb remaining to possibly check out the secret room below this room right here. I will do that in a second. First, let's deal with this cursed room right here. There's another soul heart which I'm going to lose half of, unfortunately, but that's fine. Let us see if we're lucky today. And we are. Oh, barely lucky. There really wasn't any other place where it could be, realistically speaking, but it could have been next to the shop or something stupid like that, and that would have been frustrating. And I guess I can just open this as well for a whole bunch of stuff, so that's pretty good. We get another... Soul heart oh, and a whole bunch of coins as well from the flames. That's surprising. All right, I think we'll just have to make do with this. It would be nice if we could find our super secret room, but I'm really not expecting it because there's so many places it could be. So realistically speaking, unless it's over here, I don't think I'm going to bother any more than that. Yeah, fair enough. It was one attempt and it was good enough for me. Now with this, we should realistically be able to get a devil deal. Uh, provided that the floor isn't too unkind to us. But it is, uh... <laughs> it's a challenge, all right. It's one of the more probably notorious challenges of the original Rebirth as well, because soy milk was already an item that people weren't very fond of. I, It had its moments, but it definitely isn't the best item in the world, <laughs> simply put. Uh, and it, I do feel like it has become better as time went on, or maybe people just got better with it. But it definitely seems like it's 
I don't know. It feels easier now than, than I feel it used to be. But maybe it's just been so long since I've done this challenge last that I've just gotten better at the game. And that's not impossible, I suppose. But I do feel like my tears are pretty big given what the build is but also like combined with tiny planet that's another item that people don't love to put it mildly it's uh it's an interesting challenge for sure fortunately pin this time rather than what is possibly the worst boss for this challenge so that's nice also you can kind of see where he goes with the uh concussion tears actually i thought he just teleported around every time so that's kind of interesting i suppose though i guess he might still teleport around that's really strong you might still teleport around if you actually went to a different location, but getting Dark Bum is super good. And also, getting Goat Head means we're gonna get a Devil Deal every floor. And that's incredible. <laughs> so, the odds are that this is gonna be okay. If we get Brimstone? Oh, that would be so cool. Because Brimstone Soy Milk is also an adventure at this point. Like, they've changed that. It changed how that worked a lot, so I would love to get Brimstone, but I, I doubt we'll be so lucky, I suppose. But I have been saying that, and I am getting just pretty ludicrous items so far in my build, so... Really, I, I'd be happy to see whatever happens. Also, I guess I should be using Death Cards more frequently, because I do have a tendency to leave Death Cards behind, but there is the Necronomicon, which I think you need to use like five Death Cards or something to unlock it. And death cards aren't even bad, like you could just do something like this and you clear an entire room with it. More or less, except if there's a champion right there, I suppose. But most of the time, it's pretty good. I could have used Yara to duplicate that soul heart. Instead, I'm going to use it... Mm. Okay, so this re-rolls everything. However, I think one thing that has changed... Um, somewhere along the line, is that it doesn't re-roll the challenge build, which is really the main thing that you would want to re-roll during this. And I don't want to re-roll my Goat Head or Dark Bum, so both of those I'd rather just keep. So instead, I'm just going to leave that alone. Almost every other situation I probably would have used it, but in in this case, I don't really feel like it. Kind of want to just actually try and make it to the end. Could have probably broken a couple mushrooms there for the potential of a magic mushroom, but eh, that's fine. I'm actually not too bothered. So far, things are going genuinely surprisingly well, and I'd like to keep it that way. Especially getting Dark Bomb, because you do get a lot of hearts, a lot of red hearts during challenges, and I think that has to do with it technically just being normal mode or not. Or maybe there's just some special challenge difficulty. I'm honestly not super sure what's the deal but it's safe to say that dark bum is one of the best things you can get in a place where you get a lot of red hearts even if more often than not you're gonna get garbage out of it like spiders or or a card that you can't quite use it there is just a lot of situations where the dark bum is still very useful plus you still get those black hearts as well i don't think he drops soul hearts anymore does he I haven't seen him drop a soul heart in, in forever. I, I feel like he only drops black hearts now. I don't know if that's accurate, but it is my experience with him so far. That is the tarot cloth, which I might get, actually. Because double card usage, effectively, is pretty great. I don't know what card this is. Um... Also, I just realized that I just got the money to afford it. I, in my mind, I was like, I still need a coin, so I'll just leave the shop after I pick up all this money. Not realizing that I probably could have just picked up all that money and then spent it. But, you know, that's just, uh, it's, it's very uh, complicated. It's a complicated time for everyone involved. Let's just take that. I think this drops a card as well. It drops two soul hearts, which now drops four soul hearts if we use it. So that's pretty damn good. Means that we have plenty of health to go along, go around rather. And I have no real motivation to try and explore the rest of this floor, I suppose. There is the Wretched, whose name I genuinely have forgotten up until this point where I read it just now, because to me it's just Big Spider. Oh god. Uh, but Little Spider, unfortunately. 
is doing pretty good during this fight. Ooh, they're doing very good during this fight. Got like three hits in there. Maybe I should be a little bit more careful, but simultaneously, I'm sure Dark Bomb is nice enough to give me a hundred. Yeah, there you go. Um, hmm. Don't hate Sister Maggie. Probably not gonna get much use out of that guppies thing right there, but might as well take Sister Maggie. If we happen to get two more babies, that would just be neato. We have at least four more soul hearts in our pocket. So I'm not really too concerned about health currently. It could still go anywhere. Because I have taken some weird damage there. Didn't really expect the spiders to be that troublesome during that fight. But maybe I did just move a bit weird there. And I didn't really pay as much attention as I probably should have. But eh. It's probably going to be okay. Provided that I, from time to time, actually look at the screen. We should be more than okay. I would like to have an active item, but I'm not really sure where I'm going to get one, is the, is the thing. Because most places that have active items aren't available <laughs> during this. I suppose I could get one out of my boss rush, or maybe I could get something out of the shop as well. Because there is plenty of active items in shop. There's like the deck of cards. And there you go, that's, that's at least one. <laughs> There's probably more. There's this, which is going to be great once I can use it. That's a death card, which oh, I did say I was going to use them more. There's not really many big rooms, though. We just went through all of them. But perhaps there's some enemies in here. There's three rune shards, so that's fun. That's a trapdoor rune shard, which I... <laughs> sure, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't actually aware that was a thing. This is... Not bad. However... Well, specifically in my case, because I have no use for red hearts. However, uh, yeah, I'd rather just do this. We get a very small shield and half a soul heart. You know, not the worst thing in the world. I will just use this death card and then quickly go back for my Hierophant before I forget about it. Provided that I find a room where... Yeah, there we go. Where using death actually does something. But we found one eventually. I am not loving my movement speed, but... Simultaneously, we're in Catacombs 2 already. We're already over halfway. I'm guessing we're gonna run into our boss soon enough. Arguably, it probably is better to try and clear the whole floor to try and get hearts and other such things, but eh. I'm feeling good about how this is going. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Gertie Jr. Oh, good. At least it's the blue one, so it's going to drop a soul heart at the end of this. However... Oh, also, the, the Concussion Tears is actually doing a surprising amount of work there, so that is lovely. Hopefully we can get some health back. There is the Stem Cells to increase... <laughs> I do love when this happens. <laughs> when he runs away from the Dark Bomb. Uh, let's see what's in here. That's another Guppy piece. Wow, we're really starting to regret that. Oh, actually, I'm not regretting it. This is going to activate our... Um, whatchamacallit? Our Trinket. Kind of a shame because I do like having flies, but simultaneously, when our tier damage is 1.46, flies simply are not going to be doing that much because their damage is based on your tier damage. So it's more or less like, what is it, like two times one of those tiers that is currently flying around, so it's not that impressive. However, the light bulb is quite good. Let's just have you pick up those hearts right there to make my life a little bit easier, hopefully. One black heart, two black hearts. How wonderful it is indeed. I could pick up both of those bombs by just bombing them. But I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it, you know? I'd rather just blow these up and go on. Maybe there is something good in my challenge room right there as well. If there ain't some way to teleport out of the challenge room, I'd probably be more inclined to actually check. And there's two chests that I need to open, which both could have good things for sure. But I'm not going to bother with it too much. I'd rather just move on. I'm feeling pretty confident that the build in its current state is capable of dealing with whatever comes our way. I could use it once. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess now that I overcharge because of that battery I bought earlier... I, uh, I can just use my flies, just not twice, really. So I might as well. Gives us uh, just a very, very small amount of extra damage there, so... Hopefully those flies are gonna end up accidentally killing something or another. If not, you know what? They're doing their best, and that's good enough for me. 
Whoops. <laughs> Maybe I could just run into every enemy and just use black hearts to kill everything. I uh, am pretty confident I have gone in many wrong ways today, which is somewhat unfortunate. I, I like going the correct direction, and instead I have done the opposite of this repeatedly. Because look at the look at this floor. <laughs> there were so many ways I could have gone, and I uh, all of it just leads to sadness, unfortunately. Oh well. At least with these enemies, you just sort of shoot for a bit and eventually the tears will find their way. These enemies, as long as you're just not in their way, it's, they're just gonna die. So no, no worries there. It can take a little bit longer than you're accustomed to, I suppose, but... Overall, it didn't take as long as it could've. I've seen more time go over that, so you know what? Fair enough. So far, so good. Could pick up that key, could give it to this key beggar. I will do none of those things. I will instead pick up these four bombs and then move on. You could call it arbitrary and that is correct. I, I will not dispute you on that one bit. There is the Fallen, or yet another Devil Deal item. I'm still hoping I get Brimstone because I'm kind of curious what it looks like with Tiny Planet as well, but I'm not exactly expect expecting it, I suppose. Eh. Don't love two of these. It requires too much thinking on my part, and I could just circle around them. Which probably works fine. This is not the kind of thing that... I don't think this even does anything, does it? Because I don't have red hearts. I'm definitely not going to try. <laughs> um, Alright, now I am a little bit curious. It's going to cost a lot of health. However, this will give me the conjoin transformation. Which gives me three times as many tears. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I was interested in this. Plus, it's going to be multidimensional baby tears as well. So, theoretically, this is actually going to be pretty powerful. Just due to the sheer amount of tears that are currently being thrown around. There is a tinted rock over there. Let's just blow that up. I always have this little hope that it's like, is this one of those special tinted rocks? That you can only barely see, and did I finally see it? And it never is. <laughs> it truly never is. But yeah, this uh, this made our build stupid. This this actually made our build really powerful. So that's pretty good. This could probably go anywhere. This build. It's kind of a shame that this build only needs to go to um, to Mom's foot at this point because it has become truly wonderful indeed. Oh well. At least we get to enjoy it for a little bit before we have to move on to the next challenge. I don't know how long it's been. 15 minutes again? Or all these challenges only taking 15 minutes because I only have to go to the foot, I guess. It's probably the main reason. Let's just see if there's a super secret room there. Yeah. Just looked like one of them rooms. I might as well just take all of these. Was that only three blue hearts? That's a shame. I thought I was going to get four instead, but I kind of wanted to get this uh, chariot card right here. Oh well. I guess I'll still survive with only three soul hearts instead of four, but I do feel a little robbed. It did seem like the item that would give you twice as good a card most of the time rather than one and a half as good a card, you know? But I'll live. I'll, I'll find a way to get over this, I suppose. Possibly with the trillion of tears that are currently water falling out of my eyes, but... Yeah, I, I would say that helps. I mean, it's not like incredible that. Well, it's actually pretty damn good. <laughs> Given the challenge, I'd say this is pretty much as good as the damage is going to get. And I'm okay with that. Let's go. That is the first three challenges completed. There's the rune of Awas, which is certainly a rune in the game. Um. Is there anything in particular I would like? Computer Sav is easy. Yeah, let's just do computer savvy. I still have some time before my uh, my washing machine is done. So let's just do a build that is largely um, homing lasers. I don't think the reward for this is good. I just remember the challenge not being very difficult. And that's, that's genuinely my only memory of this. <laughs> it's an interesting one, at least, because it is a build that... Getting tech 2 
is unusual because it's a pretty significant damage down. It's I feel like it's a bit better these days than it used to be, but it's still not great. Plus it goes zap. It does go zap a lot now. But it's n it's still not amazing, but tech 1, tech 2 and homing. It it is kind of neat. It's it's a neat little effect. Once again, we're fighting this boss, which I'm not loving. I am kind of done with seeing this boss over and over. For some reason the ghost stopped moving there, which I'm not really sure why. But provided that this guy doesn't run at me, I can just keep going the same circle. That is Binky, which is going to give me a little bit more tier rate, a little bit of health. So I should be able to get my devil deal, provided that I can get through the next floor without losing that soul heart and a little bit of red heart. So that is good. And yeah, you can kind of tell when tech 1 happens and when tech 2 happens from the little bits in the middle where they suddenly take a lot more damage. But overall... That's the challenge. <laughs> this is what it's going to be like for a minute. I don't know what we're going to get out of uh, out of our Devil Deal, I suppose, and that might somewhat drastically change it. I will just grab this Curse Room as well for two spiders. Very good. And we have two coins, four bombs. We have four bombs. So maybe look for a Secret Room as well. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the basement. Uh, you know, I'm just tired of the basement at this point when it comes to trying to find secret rooms in it because they're always in silly places. And I don't care for it. I always have to waste a lot of bombs. This item is actually genuinely incredible. Every time now we get to an item pedestal, it's going to switch between an item and food. And the food does its usual food stuff. But then it also gives you a random stat up. And I think it depends on the food item which stat gets raised. And unfortunately I don't know which one is which. Also it doesn't work for the ones you've already seen I guess. But it is so good. You get so much red health out of it. You get so many stat ups because of it. Because we're not going to see item rooms I guess. It's not going to be as good as it would be in a regular run. But it's still so good. Well, probably. <laughs> uh, I was a little bit uh, worried about that one when I saw the room. Didn't really know a good route through this to not take damage to that one exploding one. But you know what? Provided we just not find those rooms a lot, we're going to be okay. Also, I think Tech 2 has a little bit of pushback now. Which makes this challenge probably easier than it even was back in the day. So that's pretty great. I do need to stop taking damage now, though. I have reached the point where I no longer have soul hearts to protect me. But it would be nice if we could get into rooms that don't just have rocks everywhere, because it's clearly ruining my day a bit. However, at the moments where there aren't a lot of rocks, the build is more or less effective. It takes a while to kill anything, but nothing can get close to me, so it's you know, a nice combination of things. Might be worth going into my shop there because I might be able to buy a soul heart and I'm a little bit concerned about the boss For no real reason either. I just don't feel it today No soul heart in the shop. There is if we were able to get 15 coins somehow There is some health which might be a good status plus I think you get a temporary damage up as well when you pick up a food item which Is gonna be even more damage as well so really, if I could pick up that food, that would be neat. I don't think shot speed down does anything for this, but I'm not going to concern myself about it. There's just not really that much shot to speed up. It's already there, you know? Uh, let's just try this. I genuinely despise what I tried to do there. <laughs> Ah, uh, I could have just so easily not walked into that flame, and yet here we are. <laughs> uh, that's called being too greedy and hoping that you can open that chest and then go back again without taking damage. That reduced our Devil Deal chances rather significantly, so... I needlessly may have made my run a little bit more difficult than it needed to be, but you know what. Maybe we'll still get a Devil Deal. It's not ruled out. We didn't get a Devil Deal, but we did get food which also gave us luck up and shot speed up which is not exactly what i want but we also got some extra damage for a little bit it slowly ticks down as you can see on the left side of the screen 
But until it does that, hopefully we can get a couple of kills with it. <laughs> you know what? We don't need devil deals. We are going to have so much health at the end of this that it truly does not matter that much that I have been playing like a fool. Th this is the unfortunate thing about doing large quantity of, of run in a row. It's not something I'm particularly good at. Like being able to switch between run types, I guess you could call it. But the moment that I start doing multiple runs in a row, I somewhere halfway through, I get overconfident because I would have had a strong build previously. And then somewhere in my mind is like, yeah, you can just run through everything. You're fine. And truth be told, with this build, I probably could because I'm never going to run out of health because of those health items. But I probably should still play it at least a little bit more careful from time to time. He's just really going for it right now, huh? I wouldn't mind if he stopped jumping. But I think if I do take a hit here, it's going to make my Devil Deal chance basically zero, so I'd rather not. Could have probably, like, killed a shopkeeper to make my chance a bit better there, but oh well. So even these items get turned into food, and ordinarily it wouldn't really wor be worthwhile to do that, but since you get your health back and a stat up, it immediately becomes a little bit better. I will take the damage up though, and just move on. I probably could have done the rest of the floor as well, but I mean... We're fine. <laughs> like, look at that. Look at how much damage that did to those enemies. Obviously, it's still from the temporary damage up, which I do kind of want to make as much use of as possible, I suppose. Whoops. And we have some soul hearts as well, so I'm not really concerned about lo losing my devil deal chance there either. And um, We'll just grab this. Put my damage back at the 9 range. Didn't really go up that much. I was kind of hoping that would go up a little bit more, but that's fine. Let us just run through this spike room, but not too quickly, are we? Take unnecessary damage. And this is the tiny spiders I was talking about some time ago. I don't even know if this was during this session, <laughs> but I did mention those while I was running in circles with the sack, and I assumed that was challenge related. That is also a thing, I guess. Once you do like a whole bunch of runs in a row, everything blends together, and then it might as well have just been a run from a year ago and having a vague memory towards it. It's kind of a weird room, I suppose. They can't actually do anything. Which is kind of rude on my part to just destroy them like that then. That was quick. Getting a handman card wouldn't be bad either because uh, then I could grab a whole bunch of goodies. At least there is a tinted rock over there which may have some stuff in it. There was a super secret room there which I was definitely not ready for. But I'm happy about it. I think I know where my secret room is as well, but just haven't been very tempted to try and look for it so far. But if I could get a little bit of flies, oh god. <laughs> uh, maybe that's why I remember this challenge not being too difficult, because stuff like that does have a tendency to happen after a while, even if you don't get stupidly powerful items like the one I got. Let's take that. Maybe tier rate would have been better there, actually, but eh, that's fine. The temporary damage up from this item is actually more or less carrying it as well. The startups obviously are quite good, but just having damage at all, it makes every run so much easier most of the time. That's 10 coins, not terrible, and ordinarily I would take it, but at this point I'm just running to the end. <laughs> uh, it is a fun challenge, at least. Like, it's hard to call it a challenge, it's more just a fun build that you don't often get. But it is kind of a neat little thing, even if the unlock for it is a little bit lackluster. It can't just be neat to uh, just have some fun with it, you know. I could go into that shop. There's a tinted rock there as well, but you know, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. <laughs> because arguably getting that dime and then buying an active or buying the item in the shop would be the best choice of action because you can get your damage back up again that way. But that's okay. We only have one more floor to go after this. I kind of want to hit both of them if I could. I think I might be able to, but I gotta watch out for that brimstone attack that they have. If you're underneath them, they can brimstone, and that's not great. Also, my washing machine is about to go as loud as possible, so we should be reaching the end of this video pretty quickly here. That's brimstone. I'll just take that. Yeah, that'll work. And let's just take that as well. 
Let's just take this as well. And our damage is 17, which is pretty good. Plus we have Homing Brimstone, which genuinely is the one of the best things in the game still. I wouldn't have minded getting that Brimstone the previous run, because I do think, like, Soy Milk Brimstone is, is a is a treasure. <laughs> what is this? It is the Hermit card. If we end up going in a dead end, then that'll be our way back. But it is kind of fun to fight Envy like that, I suppose. This is pretty far away from our starting room, but again, doesn't actually seem to be in the right direction either. Wow, so many options you can go into with these some of these floors. But I would argue that this run more or less plays itself at this point. The nice thing about Brimstone is that it's Spectral Tears as well, so... It just goes through everything. I no longer need to worry about rocks being in the way. Genuinely, I have been very lucky today with the <laughs> builds that I've gotten during these challenges. Most of these are definitely the easiest challenges in the game for sure, but... I mean, the, the head trauma one is pretty rough, but the other ones aren't that complicated comparatively and head trauma really can go all over the place if you're unlucky but there we go that was four challenges my washing machine is it's getting up there oh yeah robo baby 2.0 it's not the worst but it's not the best either it's just one of those items that works pretty well with nod leaf and then occasionally to clear out certain rooms but that's about it but that is that. We have completed challenge 1, 2, 3, and 16 to make it easy to uh, put in a video title. And I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Next time we play, I might just do a regular run or a daily challenge. Once again, I have not planned this very well. But I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye. <laughs>